What's your definition of modern slavery? Are you thinking about Miss Sunday, the loyal servant of the mother of dragons? Or maybe are you thinking about Django and his wife, who is kept by a plantation owner? Or maybe are you thinking about Russell Crowe in Blood Eater? Okay, let me stop you there, because modern slavery is not what it was. It has many different faces nowadays. Let me tell you about Paul. He's a prisoner at Florida State Prison. He's forced to work picking cotton and constructing buildings without any salary and without any water or food to sustain him. If he refuses to work, he will be put in solitary confinement. Let me tell you about Adaku, a 19-year-old girl from Niger. She was forced to marry at the end of 15 with a 42-year-old man. She doesn't love him, but she's taking care of their two children and she's expecting another one. She stays at home, obeying her husband's orders. She can't live. That would bring shame to her family. Let me tell you about Patima. She is an Uyghur born in China. Her only crime was wearing a hijab. She thinks every day about killing herself. Instead, she is forced to produce, along with the other prisoners, one-fifth of the cotton used around the world. Let me tell you about Eleazar, a migrant worker from Nicaragua who went to Spain to pick watermelons. He worked 11 hours a day. He didn't even have money to buy a bottle for himself. He suffered a heart attack when he was working in 44 degrees heat. His employer left him at the hospital store already dead. Let me tell you about Bianca. She's 24 and from Poland. She was promised that when coming to Norway, she would start cleaning offices. Instead of cleaning, she is forced to have sex with different men. She uses drugs because without them, she can't stand her reality. Modern slavery has many victims. The private economy and illegal traffickers are the ones who profit the most from modern slavery. I know it's overwhelming, and I know that it's not our responsibility, but we can still change our habits and educate ourselves. But also, we have the power to hold states and companies accountable and demand them to make a change.